like oh man i mean i, I agree with you yeah <laughs> you know sometimes it grows into something that it was never supposed to be yeah temple of doom i think is a good example of that and they just didn't i mean you can't pull the plug on a big budget production like oh that. temple of doom is I'm, I'm going to defend that one because oh, wow. that, okay. that film has some of the best action scenes in film. Totally agree. It has some of the best cinematography in film. Yeah. Harrison Ford is badass. And he worked hard. He, he, wasn't, he wasn't like that in Last Crusade. He, he was good in Last Crusade, but he was just soft during Last Crusade. Mm -hmm. They so took some he, edge off, yeah. Yeah, so it's like everything... But the story itself was good. But that's a really big problem. That's a huge thing. Yeah. yeah. And the, the thing is, it's like Shankira Stone's world peace. It's like, where does Indy care about that to begin with? I mean, that's his first movie, but why not so start with something smaller and build up his character from there? And yeah. Batman begins it, which is anachronistic. But Yeah, but. well, it sounds like they were trying to do a... Uh, they were trying to do a cinematic version of what Supernatural ended up being. Oh. Uh, because now we've got, they're finishing up their 15th season. Oh, the They could still be going if they wanted to. They're ca calling it quits. Oh, that's and funny. And what they've done is they've gone after all these great pieces of of legend and folklore uh -huh. and myth uh -huh. and religion. It's, it's really neat. And that, that I know they were trying to do kind of a James Bond thing with Indiana Jones. Well, and I think they were they just took off they bit off more than they could chew with the spectrum of things that he could address. Well, the thing is Indiana Jones is a James Bond riff off. Mm -hmm. So it's it's kind of like they're trying to make it more of But honestly, I don't know. I feel like Temple of Doom is the worst story, but Crystal Skull is oh. <laughs> No. Crystal Skull that is That movie doesn't exist. Yeah, it, even, I think even Dan Aykroyd would say that it's, movie's it's, bad. What it is, he's is a it's huge, a lesser mummy at this point. He's a huge fan of Crystal Skull, or Crystal Skulls in general. I, I guess that's what I think of it, is you have the three, the Indiana Jones trilogy and the mummy, and they're one movie. No. No. <laughs> no. Maybe. Maybe, perhaps. <laughs> but I really like the mummy. I like it. <laughs> Which we, I hated. I hated for the, it took me four times watching it. Before I decided to start liking it a little bit, it's because I didn't get the camp. It's supposed to be camp. I thought it was it's supposed to be parody. scary, and I no, kept, it's not yeah, scary. I, it's, it's amazing what the mindset that you go into watching a movie with. No, it's changes so much. Yeah, what it is is it's like basically if Indiana Jones had no pride, yeah, he would make that movie. It's like a, it's an ultimate favorite of mine now, which is crazy. Oh, no, whoa, okay, absolutely whoa. hating it to oh, it's it's a staple. Uh, it's uh, Stephen Summers is my favorite writer director. Oh, nice. Uh, I love Van Helsing. Uh, oh. People can knock it all they want, but I want to see more. Now, the best part of the GI Joe movie he did. Oh wow! How you get a double entendre like Rise of the Cobra in the title oh, no. of a movie? I mean, you just hang your hat on that and just be done, because it's like right. I got away with that. <laughs> I mean, it's...